In this video, we'll construct a confidence interval using a T procedure. In the previous chapter, that is chapter 14, when sigma was given, we used the formula x bar plus or minus z star sigma over radical n to find the confidence interval. And we used the z procedure to find the confidence interval. Now in, the, in, in chapter 17, Sigma is not given in all the problems. Sigma is not given. So instead of sigma, we're going to use s, which is the standard deviation from the sample. Remember that sigma was the standard deviation of the population. So we're going to use uh, s instead of sigma. So obviously, that becomes a t distribution. If we uh, use s instead of sigma, what we are really looking at is the t distribution. So instead of z star, we are going to look for t star. Uh, and mostly everything else is uh, the same. So sigma is not known. We use s instead of sigma, which is an approximation. And we use uh, the t distribution, so therefore we use t star instead of z star. And the formula really is x bar plus or minus t star s over radical n and remember that uh, the degrees of freedom is one less than the sample size. So let's first read the question. It says that a clever way to determine the hand size uh, in three dimensions is to measure the volume of water displaced. So you're basically you're trying to find the volume of the hand because that would be equal to the volume of water displaced uh, when the hand is dipped in a water container. So we're going to measure the size of the hand in milliliters because we're measuring the volume of the water displaced. The number of students in the sample is 12. So it's the number of male college students. That's our population. What we need to do, this is the part that's important. We need to read the question carefully. It says estimate the mean hand size in terms of the volume of water displaced. So. The minute it says estimate the mean, we need to find a confidence interval to estimate the mean. The confidence interval is nothing but a range of values that we find using uh, the formula for a T procedure in this case because clearly I don't see a sigma anywhere. So sigma not given. Clearly if, you, if it's given it should be somewhere in the problem if it's not given it will be pretty clear to you. So if sigma is not given, we'd have to use s instead of sigma, which means we'd have to use a t procedure. So another thing to notice is that the problem, the statement itself doesn't give us exactly what the confidence level should be. So you can pick any um, confidence level that is 90 or 95 percent to be reasonable. The first thing to do is make a statement. So what exactly are we going to do in this problem? The question says estimate the mean. And we said that estimating the mean can be done by finding the confidence interval. So let's make a statement and it has to be a full sentence which gives uh, important details. So the statement is we'll find the actual mean hand size. The word actual goes with the population mean mu. We always estimate the population mean using the sample mean. So we will find the actual mean hand size of all male college students because that's our population. So whatever I underline is an important part of the statement. Using a confidence interval of 90% uh, confidence level. So that's our statement, a full sentence that gives all important details. We're estimating the mean hand size of all male college students using uh, a confidence interval of 90%. Now the next thing is formulation, which means what's the procedure that we're going to use and why? Just a brief statement about which procedure and why. So we're basically giving a rationale for why we are using a T procedure. Since sigma is not given, we're going to use T procedures. That's a simple sentence. It says it all. So that should be the starting of the formulate uh, statement. 
So we need to estimate the mean hand size. So we'll construct a confidence interval using the formula. Since we said we're going to use T procedures, we're going to use the formula for uh, uh, a confidence interval in a T procedure. So formulate is just basically saying uh, which procedure we're going to use and why and always end with the formula that you're going to use because the formula is now going to tell us what we need to finish the problem. So what we need is x bar which is the sample mean x bar is the sample mean t star we're going to get based on a confidence level of 90 percent from the t distribution table so we're going to go to table c because it's a t distribution s again is the standard deviation that comes from sample it comes from the sample that we have so s and x bar so the mean of the sample and the standard deviation of the sample is what we need and n is 12 so solve part is when we first take an inventory of uh, what we need to plug into the formula what do we have and what do we need to figure out so what we have uh, is n the sample size t star we can go to the table c and figure out what the t star value is and uh, finally x bar and s uh, we'd have to use our calculator to figure that out so we need to plug in all the numbers into the list if you're using a ti84 and then use one variable statistics to figure out the mean and the standard deviation of the sample so we were just looking at what we have what values we have and what values we do not have so we can figure it out so we look for t star the degrees of freedom is uh, one less than the sample size so it is 11 so the t star for um, a 90 percent confidence level that we set we can pick anything but we picked 90 percent and uh, that would be 1.796 a sample size of 12 so degrees of freedom 11 that's what we look for in the table so all this comes or uh, this number comes from table c x bar and s is the mean of the sample and the standard deviation of the sample these two numbers come from the calculator so make sure you know how to use the calculator to figure out the sample standard deviation s and the sample mean x bar now that we have all the numbers all we have to do is plug in all the numbers uh, and find the margin of error so that part would be the margin of error the number that we add and subtract to the sample mean plug in all the numbers find the margin of error the margin of error is 26.43 we subtract the margin of error we add the margin of error to get two numbers that give us the range of values that estimate uh, the mean so finally we uh, make a conclusion so the conclusion is that the mean hand size of all male uh, college students lies anywhere between 398.99 milliliters and 451.53 milliliters.